Hello all, once again welcome back to Civil Engineering Education. So in today's video we are going to discuss about the estimate of an open well. So how to estimate a open well? So what are the different items of work which we come across in this type of estimate? So don't skip the video in middle, watch the video till end and if you are new to the channel do subscribe. So let's try to understand the drawing. So this is clear opening. This is clear opening of dimension 5.2 meter. So this is nothing but a diameter. So this open well is in the shape of a circle, right? Circular shaped open well. So 5.2 meters is the clear opening diameter. So this is open to sky. And on other sides, this side and this side, we are going to construct the mass and So this whatever the hatched portion you are going to see here. So this is nothing but hatched portion. Okay, so these hatched portions are constructed. These are nothing but masonry. So this masonry is constructed step by step. So each step will be of 2 meters. So first step will be 2 meters. Second step will be 2 meters. Next step will be 2 meters and 2 meters like this. So each step will be of 2 meters. And this is ground level. Above ground level, we will construct the parapet wall. Right. So this is for safety purpose. So the height of parapet wall is 0 0.8 meter. Okay. And if you observe the thickness of these walls, this is 300 mm. Next step is 400, 500, 600, 700. So the thickness is changing. Step to step, the thickness is changing. Okay. After this masonry, how we will construct this masonry? Only after this complete excavation process so when we are constructing this open well first step what we need to do is do the earthwork so in general for any kind of structure first item of work will be earthwork excavation only so in case of earthwork excavation you can see this dimension 10 meters 10 meters is the diameter from this end to this end so it is completely like a circle so we have to mark the circle of 10 meter diameter first and we have to dig it dig it to 2 meters depth second circle will be 9.4 meter 9.4 meter will be from this end to this end next is 8.6 meter next is 8 meters so like this step by step 2 2 meters depth we have to dig right so after digging only we have to start the mass entry construction process okay so mainly here three different stages involves first step will be first stage will be excavation second stage will be construction of mass entry third stage will be refilling of the soil whatever the soil we have excavated from this again we have to refill back whatever the gaps are left over that we have to fill it again after this construction process so these are the three stages which we need to remember. Stage one is excavation. Stage two is masonry. Third, uh, third stage is refilling of earthwork. So these are the three different stages which we come across. And these are the diameters which you can see. This is excavation diameter step one, step two, step three and step four. Masonry step one, step two, step three, step four. Okay. And this is parapet. Okay and refilling is again step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 so like this different steps will be there so step wise digging step wise construction step wise refilling so this is the procedure of an open well construction okay now we will see the estimation part so that we will understand very clearly so in case of detailed estimate of a open well so this is detailed estimation table first item of work is earthwork excavation for an open well okay so here you can see from this end to this end the diameter is 10 meters from this is first step second one is from this end to this end 9.4 this end to this end third step 8.6 this end to this end 8 meters so this is first stage so earthwork excavation step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 total four steps we have written here so all are one in numbers so when we are calculating the quantity of this one how can we calculate 
we have to for example this is a circle let us take this is a circle so area of this circle will be pi by 4 d square so area multiplied by depth is equal to volume so what will be the volume volume is equal to first of all we have to find the area of this one that is this one multiplied by depth so area into depth is equal to volume so the same thing i have written here pi by 4 i have written in length side breadth is diameter this is nothing but diameter 10 square 9.4 square 8.6 square and 8 square pi by 4 d square multiplied by depth so pi by 4 d square multiplied by depth is equal to quantity this is total quantity same like four steps so pi by 4 d square into depth pi by 4 d square into depth pi by 4 d square into depth so four steps quantity we got so this is excavation process so this is stage one now let's see stage two that is construction of this masonry so from here to here here to here so it is looking like a circle here you can see in the figure so this is outer circle this is inner circle so here we are not going to do any kind of construction right so internal this is 5.2 meters diameter which is directly open to sky so here we come across outer diameter and inner diameter what we have to do we have to deduct the diameters that is nothing but areas pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square so this is the formula which we use to calculate this hatched portion area pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square that means outer area minus inner area so same procedure will be followed here here you can see so laterite rs dry packing which you can see here construction will be started from bottom to top so laterite rs dry packing what are the material they have given we have written so this is step one step two step three step four so step one of width 0 0.7 meter step two of width 0 0.6 meter okay this is clear opening internal diameter so here outer diameter how we will get outer diameter pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square so capital d is nothing but this width is 0 0.7 meter for step 1 this width is 0 0.6 meter for step 2 so this width will be 0 0.5 meter for step 3 like this width will be changing so what we have to do 5.2 plus 0 0.7 on this side 0 0.7 on this side like this we have to add so if we add like that we will get outer diameter inner diameter will be constant this is from here to here 5.2 meter only outer diameter area minus inner diameter area so this is outer diameter we got for step 1 that is 6.6 .6 meter minus inner diameter square multiplied by depth so we will get the quantity as 33.04 meter square sorry meter cube we are multiplying with depth now so this is quantity for step 1 same like step 2 pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square into depth similarly next one this one laterite mass entry in cement mortar in bracket 1 is to 6 this is step 3 and 4 so same thing i have written step 3 and 4 laterite mass entry in cement mortar 1 is to 6 pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square multiplied by depths so we got the quantity so this is laterite rs dry packing this is separate quantity this is separate quantity okay similarly refilling of earthwork what is refilling of earthwork this is stage 3 after excavation after construction again we have to refill this whatever the gap whatever the gap is left over that we have to fill it back so for this one when we are calculating mass and we have taken here to here as outer diameter here to here as inner diameter right capital D is from here to here small d is from here to here in the same way capital D will be from here to here outer diameter inner diameter will be from here to here because we are calculating this area this quantity okay 
whatever the white portion you can see step 1 white portion step 2 white portion step 3 step 4 we should not consider this one we have to consider only this one so from here to here it is outer diameter from here to here it is inner diameter so same procedure so when we are filling refilling we will come from fourth step so from here again this is fourth one third second and first okay first we will fill this one second we will fill this one next we will fill this one next we will fill this one so last step pi by 4 capital d square from this end to this end here you can see 8 square this is outer diameter inner diameter will be from here to here so 8 square minus 6.6 .6 square okay multiplied by depth depth is 2 that is standard so we got the quantity pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square is equal to area we will get multiplied by depth is equal to quantity this is total quantity same like other steps also step 2 step 3 step 4 okay pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square so all steps this is outer diameter for step 1 outer diameter for step 2 step 3 diameter step 4 diameter okay 8 8.6 9.4 10 8 8.6 9.4 10 so these are outer diameters capital d square minus small d square so like this we can calculate the quantity of this open well this is very simple if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section and if you like the video hit the like button and show your support thanks for watching